When it comes to sea reclamation, China has always been at the forefront of this field. After completing many domestic projects, the Chinese building team has also begun to go out to the world to help other countries complete related infrastructure projects. Among them, the Maldives, which is located in the southwest of the Indian Peninsula, has asked China for help. A total of 3 billion yuan was invested in this project, which started in July 2016. Just 26 months later, the airport island has changed dramatically. After the expansion, the airport can take off and land the world's largest passenger aircraft, the A380. And its area has also increased from the initial 60,000 square meters to 250,000 square meters, a full expansion of more than four times. In this project, the reclamation project is even more eye-catching, and it was completed in just 10 months. The total area of its reclamation is as high as 750,000 square meters, 5.8 trillion tons of seawater are removed, and 5.4 million cubic meters of earth and stone are consumed. On September 18, 2018, the Airbus A380 flew into the air, marking the successful test flight of the new runway at Vilana International Airport in Maldives and the success of the project undertaken by China. In this project, China has applied four cutting-edge new technologies, which have played a huge role in the airport project, not only improving the quality of the project, but also saving costs and shortening the construction period. In today's video, we'll take an in-depth look at these four technologies and take a look at what other world-class problems Chinese engineers have solved in this project. Okay, let's take a look. The tourist resort Maldives is known as one of the most beautiful island countries, attracting more than 1 million tourists every year. But the Maldives airport is a serious drag landing flights are limited, with an annual capacity of only 4 million passengers, and the airport runway can only take off and land medium-sized passenger aircraft. As Maldivian tourism minister Musa Zamir said, a prerequisite for the upgrading of tourism in the Maldives is the upgrading of Malay Airport. However, due to the complex terrain of the surrounding waters of the Maldives, the expansion of the airport will encounter many worldwide difficulties. Therefore, the construction has not been started for many years. So, what problems did the Chinese construction team solve? In the process of the Maldivian project, the most important of these problems is the determination of the location and orientation of the new runway of the airport. As the underwater topographic survey map around the airport shows that the sea depth conditions in the northern end of the airport are relatively complex, and the seabed situation changes suddenly, and the slope changes at a large angle to the sea depth of 30m, with a slope of 70%. In view of the difficulty of the construction in this area, the midpoint of the southern end of the new runway was considered as the base point and the new runway was rotated 0.9 degrees to the east to achieve avoidance of steep bumps and to ensure the safety of the reclamation project. You might ask, how much benefit does a runway turn at such a small angle really bring? I believe that the following set of figures can exactly illustrate the problem. The additional cost of the airfield pavement project is about 2.7 million. The additional cost of the reclamation project is about 2.9 million, the revetment sheet pile project is reduced by about 18.11 million, and the total cost is reduced by about 12.51 million. I think this is where attention to detail comes into play. At the same time, the most direct pressure on the Chinese construction team comes from the construction period. In order not to affect the normal order of takeoff and landing, the project will be constructed from midnight to 6 o'clock every day. In addition, since the land on the airport island has basically been used for airport construction, only part of the future remote apron construction land can be used as a temporary site and then relocated later, not to mention the lack of local materials, almost all buildings, living materials need to be purchased and imported from the surrounding. Now, I will introduce to you four cutting-edge new technologies that China has used in this project. 1. Simulation Technology 
In order to plan and design the airport space size more accurately and efficiently, China uses the airport industry-leading Aviplan Air Sidepro software for control and uses multiple models for simulation operation to fully ensure the safety and economy of the field size in the flight area. At the same time, the simulation of the wake effect of the aircraft operation is carried out to reduce the effect of the wake and improve the operation efficiency. 2. Reclamation Technology Similarly, in the face of such a large 4F airport, the biggest problem facing the Maldives as an island country is the scarcity of land resources. Land has become the biggest problem in airport construction. The only solution is to reclaim the sea. The geological composition of the area where the airport is located is mainly coral sand, which is rare in China, bringing great difficulties to the reclamation. However, after long-term research by the design team, the method of using heavy-duty cone dynamic penetration test and test indicators such as dry density for foundation detection was proposed for the first time. Compared with the traditional vibrating method and dynamic compaction method, this method has the characteristics of short construction period, low cost, and little impact on non-stop construction. Therefore, it has some significance for promotion. 3. Low-Impact Drainage Technology The idea of the Maldives Airport Drainage Design Scheme is derived from the concept of low-impact development, reducing emissions from the source of runoff rainwater, prioritizing the use of natural drainage systems, building ecological drainage facilities, and giving full play to the soil surface area to absorb, store infiltration and slow release of rainwater. Use the field area as a flood storage and detention area during high-intensity rainfall to improve the safety of airport drainage. The coral sand in the airport island area has good infiltration performance, and a wide ditch is set up between the runway and the taxiway to allow the infiltration and drainage of rainwater. This aspect of the solution solves the problem that the sea level in the outer sea is too high, and the drainage of structures will cause the outlet to be too low which cannot be eliminated in time. 4. Digital Construction Technology For example, when the relevant personnel are checking for potential safety hazards, they find that there is a potential safety hazard in a certain place. In the past, they needed to take a picture on the spot, save it on the computer, and then open it for correction, now they only need to open the app, click to take a photo, and then upload it to the cloud center. In the model, it will be marked directly in the model, indicating that this position has hidden dangers to be rectified, and the rectification process can be tracked accordingly. At the same time, without adding any workflow, the enterprise has accumulated the most real project data, which provides the possibility to form enterprise big data and truly realize the intensive operation of the enterprise. Digital construction greatly improves construction efficiency, saves construction costs, and optimizes enterprise business processes. It will be applied to more airport projects in the future. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news. We will see you in the next video.